Hello my friends, I hope you guys are doing great. Today we are going to do a cover for my new journal that actually I am starting today. My other journal is packed, I can't even hardly write in it anymore, but I went ahead and put together one. This is actually a cover, as you can tell the cover I couldn't get the sticker off of, but that's what we're doing today, we're going to cover this. Um, it's from, this actual journal is from Dollar Tree. And you can see I kind of took out, it was stapled in, and I took out the staples and I did my binding like I typically do. I made it into to kind of a junk journal style that has like, listen to this, isn't that fun? This is actually uh, a, what's that parchment paper that I set, that I had put down when I had dyed the tags, I had put, the once I had dipped them into the food coloring, I put the um, <clears throat> the tags onto this parchment paper and I loved it because it kind of has like a little I don't know if you guys can see it but it has like a little little bit of paint droplets on there but I love the sound of it and it just I don't know I just had to put it in there so um, so yeah so it has different paper all this paper came from my friend Amy um, if you're watching Amy thank you I love this paper so much it's so spring themed and I think I put enough papers in here to have me go through the month of March and the month of April and then I would start a new one for May. And sorry, I thought I heard my phone ringing. I'm alone in the house so I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta create quickly, make a video while no one's here. <laughs> but I really do, um, this is actually paper I've been kind of a little, maybe you could say that I wasn't real crazy about the paper that typically comes in the original. Uh, journals, the um, composition books from from uh, Dollar Tree, but actually these seem fairly fairly reasonable. I'm impressed with them. So I will be uh, again doubling up my pages. I kind of was on the fence about whether I wanted to or not, but I think I will. I think I will. That's what I counted for. I mean, I, I went ahead and counted that. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. This is what I'm going to be doing. I'm doing something a little different for the cover. I love how crazy and colorful and beautiful this is, but I couldn't get the stickers off. I was kind of like wanting to do something else, so let's do it, right? Um, so I took a big piece of felt that I had, and it has sparkles on there. Sparkles are fine. We're going to be putting sparkles. <laughs> and remember this fabric? I know it looks very grandma chic, but I am really loving it. The roses are just calling my name. So I basically measured out this piece of material and I used my fabric fix glue, which I'm going to turn this upside down because we are going to be using it quite a bit in this project. I'll put it over here and hope it doesn't leak everywhere. I thought I had a brand new bottle of fabric tack but I can't find it so I'm gonna have to order some more but I basically glued this piece of um, felt down onto the material and so now it's, it's stuck together so what we're gonna do is we're gonna deck we're gonna eventually cover this onto the journal I am gonna be using fabric fix for this entire project I thought about um, using coming in and I might still do this but I'm gonna probably film a little bit here do it and then come back but we'll talk about that as we get further into it I so I did post a couple more free not free but more printables <laughs> art printables on my uh, website in the shop so these are kind of like not the greatest uh, prints because they're printed on canvas paper you guys so I kind of got this idea Mindy Lacefield she did like some little cute brooches and she printed her artwork and then she attached them and put all this uh, fun little gems and things all over her brooches and I was like oh that's so cool how did you get your print she goes you can buy canvas paper which when, if I come back I'll show you guys but it, it's very or I'll, I'll leave a link below because I got off of Amazon if you're interested so it, it didn't come out as vibrant but it's printed on canvas. It's canvas paper. How cool is that? So, and it came with a big, it was in a big, um, like a ream of paper. So, or a pad of paper. So anyway, I included the new prints on, available in the shop, if you guys are interested. And I don't know which one I want to use. For some reason, I am really torn. I am really 
not torn, but pulled towards using this blue bonnet girl. And I think it's because around here our blue bonnets are just gorgeous. I'm going to try to get a picture soon. The thing with the blue bonnets is that they are all on our, our road, so you have to like figure out how to get out safely without getting, you know, on the highway. <laughs> so, and get your picture or get a picture of the blue bonnets. Or you don't want to go and trespass anywhere, you know, so. So anyway, I'm going to use my fabric fix. Make sure it's not getting everywhere as I turn it upside down over here. Um, I'm going to be kind of just doing like some collage work. I also have this little bitty tiny denim pocket, which I got this idea from my friend Nancy Jo sent me this video. Oh my goodness. And I will, um, I will link, I will t link her information below. You've got to go check out her journals. She does sell them in her Etsy shop. They're reasonable price, but she put a little pocket on the front of her journal. And I thought, oh my goodness, that's so cute. Cause I can put my little wand in there or I can put my pen or I can put both or I can put a little bouquet of flowers I mean tell me oops well I gotta get it in the pocket tell me how sweet is that I mean it's just cute so yes thank you <laughs> I love it so okay let's go ahead and get started so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue down my art piece glue down the pocket and then embellish and then when I'm all said and done but I think what I'm going to do first before I glue the actual cover to my book is I'm going to take I'm going to just going to come in here with some yarn and my large needles that I typically do my um, binding with and I'm going to just do a couple X's they're already going to be like just to show some stitching but they're already going to be adhered with the glue but I'm gonna like have the uh, prettiness of the stitching. Does that make sense? So, uh, so yeah. So, and also I need to figure out the closure because I always have something that typically ties it. Let's see, I'm thinking like something like that, and then I thought I could come in here and do my. I can remove my my stuff. The grandma fabric is really, I found it pretty um, hard for me to match up with anything that I have because most of my stuff is um, bright, like what I'm going to talk about is like all my flowers, all my felt flowers that I have. So I did go into my doodad box, which needs to be replenished of just little bitty things here and there. And I was like, well, I do have some things that I could use, um, like these flowers. Oh, that's pretty. Maybe I should do that instead of the butterfly. The butterfly can go right here or something. But yeah, I need some, I need more doodads, you guys. But I love this. Like, actually, I could even make myself a wand. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That's even better. That is even better than that one. Um. So yeah, I even have my little unicorns. I have these. I love these. These are like vintage. -y. I don't know where I got these. I've had these forever, you guys. But I could add like a little mixture of vintage and mo more colorful modern-y. modern, -y. modern -y? Is that a word? But um, I used to have different colors. I don't know if I still have them. I know I have them somewhere, but in a hot air balloon which that doesn't really go, but, but, so you kind of get the idea of what I'm wanting to do here, is just kind of make a collage piece on my cover, but I'm going to be using glue, now you, if you have a saw machine, which I do, but it's out in the shop, out in the garage, and you guys, if you follow me for a while, you know my garage is a hot mess, it's getting there, it's getting there, so let's go ahead and start gluing down. So we got my fabric fix ready to go and I'm literally just going to add it to the edges of my paper, I mean of my material. Yeah I need to definitely get some more, it's getting kind of that stringy 
um, action going on. I don't want to lay it upright because I don't want it to get. Make sure that really kind of is on, just in case. Oh, look, it's chosen its spot. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let's do this. We're going to let this dry, though, so I'm going to be very, very generous because I want it to stick. But like I said, I think I'll come in here after this dries, and we'll add some, some stitching hand stitching to it. You know what I was thinking too, what would work, which I used to do this before I had my sewing machine. This was back many, many moons ago. Um, is I would uh, use that stitch witchery, stitch witch, is that what it's called? And you basically iron. I make I made like curtains for the for one of the rental houses I lived in and it had it was an older house so it had a ton of like different kind of windows and I remember I made all my curtains with that. <laughs> I wish I could bottle up that energy. Okay. This pocket idea. So cute. I've had this denim pocket, you guys. I kid you not for a long time. Because I was like, I know I could come up with some sort of art project. Okay, are we going to do this, do you think? And then do the butterfly over here. We probably need to put something, and we'll have to add something in this corner. I have this kind of shabby chic. And a lot of times, some of the stuff that what happens with me, at least, is... Um, is I um I like to I like to add as I go along you know like oh this would have looked good you know like that kind of stuff I'm thinking like even if we did some like almost like it's like a flower stem Oh, the other thing I wanted to talk about, or we have this felt, this may work. Um, so, uh, okay, if you're new here, welcome. <laughs> um, but if you've been here for a while, you know I do, this is my creative daily journal where I journal every day. I try to journal every day or I get caught up, I guess, so to speak. Um, and so what I'd like to do is so then I also have like my personal journal that I kind of keep things like you know stuff because I mostly show my creative daily journal on here but there might be times that I'm not wanting to necessarily have all the information out there so but this this time of the year you guys I get so busy that um I really do not have I mean my my time is just crazy right now. Um, so with that being said, I'm going to actually combine the two. And I feel like what I could do is show you guys, um, look at these little strawberries, is show you guys like how I journal and like make little secret pockets. Because I'm not just saying online here that I don't want but I'm just saying in general like look at that big glob of glue that came out <laughs> um in general so if there's somebody out there and I'm talking family members um you know if you have your journal and someone's like oh my gosh let me look at that because like I said I do carry my journal with me I haven't had any of that happen lately but a lot of times people are kind of, you know, they're curious and especially when they see all the color and all the beautiful stuff coming out of your journal, they're like, what in the world is that? I've got to look at it. And of course you want to inspire others, like, look at my journal or, but it, it, it's because it's, to me, it, it's my, 
it's also like my art, you know. But at the same time, I don't want them reading some of my personal things and, you know, and so I'm going to show how I could, I was thinking to myself, I'm like, I can actually kind of create a space that it's kind of hiding, you know, like little things that I might not want to be just vivid to everybody. They would really have to go in there and dig to find my 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 some of my writing that I don't really want to have out there for everybody. Okay. So, with that being said, I am going to uh I thought it'd be kind of a fun project to do too. Now, you might be asking too, where, what about our spring journal? Um, I actually, I hope my head's not getting in the way, you guys. I really am working on that. I have it up top because I really wanted to see what I was doing here, the camera. Um, but I was actually, I don't want that to be up right. I was actually debating, I'm like, what can, I, what do I want to add to this, my, the spring journal, you know? And I have an idea of doing like my loves of spring and not really using it or in kind of capturing the begin, you know, just different things in, in spring. Like I already have a couple pages planned for us to, that I'm going to be putting in my journal. And so... That's what I was thinking. And plus I have that, that free printable that we had. If you guys are new here, we had a journal that um, I created kind of a printable about like our favorite, um, favorite things, like favorite springtime movies and stuff like that. So I definitely want to include that in the, this journal. And maybe, maybe do some of the documenting, but also just kind of do a different type of documenting. Okay, so this one, I had this on my other journal too, the same flower. And it's stuck really well. Let's see if I can get that off. That backing. Chop. That way it flattens it out a little bit more. Yeah, you can just go crazy with doing collage work with um with material. And the slow stitching is so pretty too. I love that. I did that on my planner. Is I did that slow stitching um oh uh butterfly. How's that looking? <laughs> Looking a little on the wild side. Hmm. Definitely need to bring in maybe another yellow. I have a yellow in here. I want this definitely though, no matter what, to be something that isn't going to like create havoc. You know, like, oh, the flower got stuck, or oh, you know, so I'm going to make sure this stuff is pretty secure. Just want to make sure if I put my pretty little wand in there, which is probably what's going to end up in here. This gives it plenty of room to to have that which you guys I have to add this sparkle on there just have to I'm gonna do that I'm gonna hope this works I'll definitely be putting a backing you know what I might do I don't know if I have another star though this came in the fairy tale kit too if you guys got that 
So I'm going to push this down. We're going to put a clothespin on top of it to hold that in place. Is it down secure? Okay. I'm going to put that over to the side. Okay. So let's just back up a little bit and not overflow this. And what I'm going to do is I'll come back and we will do some stitching. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to put our butterfly right here. And I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and finish it off. Alright, so I decided to go with embroidery thread instead of yarn. Because for one, my needle, I would have to use a really large needle to get that yarn through. And I knew it would be hard to puncture through the, all this material. So let's go ahead and take our journal cover off. I need to make sure I put that on right. Look, that's upside down and on the back. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Okay, so what my, oops, here's another needle. What my, pro, my thought process is, is this isn't meant to hold down. It's more for decorative. And I'm gonna try not to um, have to cut what is it, like the word I'm looking for? Um, cut the string and start over. But I know up here I will, and I'm going to show you. So I basically strung the needle where I took embroidery thread and I strung it through the needle. And I didn't. I used all. I think there's six strings in embroidery. Um, I used all six because I really wanted it to kind of stand out. And then I tied. I pulled it through with a little bit hanging like this. Oops like that and then I tied a knot on this end right here a little bitty tiny knot so I just poked it through the back pulled it to the front and I don't know if it's gonna hold or not but I'm gonna go ahead and start sewing because it will hold once I once I do this so what I thought I would do is just make a big stitch here and then I'm going to do like an X, so um, I'm going to come back up through the canvas. So I went up, down, and then another up through the back side. You want to make sure you're not getting it in a knot. That's I used to embroider when I was a kid, and oh my gosh, that was such an issue when that happened. And then I'm going to push it back through like this. And there you have it. It's just like a little bit of decorative X. And so I'm going to do another one next to it. Pull my needle through. Whoop. Make sure it doesn't get in a knot below. And try not to poke yourself like I just did. Now this X is not going to be as neat. I think it's going to be kind of a little bit bigger. But again, it's it's really just for decorative use. So when you're done, do it like this side. I'm going to go ahead and close off. I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to take my needle and go underneath one of those stitches, and then that loop on there. I'm going to bring the needle through the loop. So it's going to kind of tie a knot using that and I'll do another one. So th underneath one of the stitches oops, and then when it brings it to a loop I'm going to go put my needle through that loop and that way it kind of makes it a, a stitch there. Cut that off and then I'm going to start over so I'm going to get another um, Tie another knot into the back side. And then we can come around here and do a few X's on this side. Try not to poke yourself, I just poked myself. <laughs> And you don't have to do X's, you could do just a simple stitch, which I'll show you that in just a minute. I'm just going to do a couple X's on right here.
And actually this is so fun because you can add different colors. You could add a bead in there if you wanted to. You know, you could uh, come up with the needle. I mean, all of it pretty much takes a lot of time. You know, that's that's um, the fun thing about this is that you can you can take a lot of time and make it really crazy. So, speaking of crazy, we had I had this. Um, I remember going to the, this is the first time I ever heard about it, and I'm sure you guys, if y'all are into quilting or ever has been to like a quilt show. Um, I was with a friend of mine, and we we went to um, uh, one of her friends' house, and you know for a play day with the kids. It was a while back, and then um, she um, she was doing a crazy quilt. So she was doing all these like stitches and adding different things within her journal. It was just I mean not journal, but her quilt. It was so cool. So. Okay, so I'm going to go, oh, if you did notice, I did add a leaf over here. So let's say we want to do like some work on this needle. I wonder, not needle, but um, leaf. So if you didn't want to do the X's and you wanted to kind of just make a stitch, I literally pulled it up through the, the, the leaf and I can go around like this. And I'm just going up and then making like a stitch down. So um, while I'm stitching, I'll, I'll show you guys, tell you guys about this quilt. So what she did was she kind of like, so she babysat up. She had a lot of kids that she, um, she kind of like had an in-home daycare. And she would, I think that's what she was doing. I think that's what I remember. Is she kind of like wrote their names in that quilt and... Um, wrote their names in the quilt and then she would kind of like do something else like stitch like um, say a butterfly or if it was a little boy it would be a little truck or something like that and you know it wasn't perfect I mean I don't remember it being like perfect it was just amazing and like what you she also did like for different seasons because it took her a while I mean she's been she's working on that quilt for a while and she would like do like a pumpkin for eat for Halloween and like a little Christmas tree, and she'd put dates on them, like the dates of when she stitched it, and then her the actual quilt piece was just um, see so you can kind of just tell I'm just going around the leaf just like that, just creating a fun little stitching. Um, <clears throat> the actual quilt leaf, I mean <laughs> the actual quilt was like pieces of material, all different kind of pieces of material stitched together. So it wasn't, um, it wasn't like it was, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a regular quilt. It had like, it was just a mod podge of different materials. Kind of like how this looks, like it's just a, um, different types of material. I'm going to wrap this leaf around, right, see how fun, and then you could switch up your embroidery thread, however you wanted, and that look cute, yeah, I like this, I like this a lot, and then, ow, poke, don't, why did I pick that one way over there? I have no idea. <laughs> Sometimes I question myself. I think I was just like, oh, pick a stitch and tie a knot. So usually you want to pick something closer than having to go clear across your... Okay. So then, let's see here. I mean, we could go on and on and on, but I know that you guys don't want to watch me just stitch away. I think I'm going to add just a couple on this leaf here. And then we'll we're gonna add it to our journal. Okay. Oops. It's going through. That ribbon is rat, rough. What do you call it? Rat, rattle. Why can't I think of the word? 
unraveling. That's it. I'm just going to put a couple stitches in there and so maybe it won't unravel it too much. Again, this is like a junk journal. You know, my Creative Daily Journals are junk journals. So, having, I'm going to do a little bit on this other side. And I'm literally just running my needle back up, you know, and then coming out over here so I can stitch it down a little more. And that's what's so great about this project is you can use like ribbon, you can use, I'll be adding pom-poms and stuff. As I go along, like I said, you could add all sorts of different types of, um, um, you can, the thing with the, either the fabric tack or the, um, glue, the fabric tack or the stitch witchery. I like wet that glue there, but it's just because it's, see, you can see it. I'm just going to kind of run this back. I did a little bit more than what I was going to do, but... But you can continuously add to the cover. Another thing uh, my friend Elaine did was she um, she made one of these sim very similar like this on a um, I should have showed it to you guys if I had it here I would um, on a pencil pouch, and she ended up like you can um, like say for instance you took a little um, safety pin or something like that and you could pin your charm. Oh my goodness, that would be so cute. You know we're going to be doing that. I'll have to do that in another video. <laughs> okay. So we stitched on that. I am going to call that good. I'm going to knot it up like this in the back. Okay, so now we're going to add it to our journal cover. And again, if you had a sewing machine, definitely you could do it. Or we're going to do, we're going to make sure this is a front cover. And this is the back. This is the back. This is the back. And it's hanging over a little bit. And I can always come in here and either punch holes, like with my... Um, with an, you know, like really get into doing a needle, which I might do that actually, you guys. Um, let me see here something. I just wanted to see what this would look like. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be adding that. Okay, so let's go ahead. But what I was saying is take this and punch a hole, like get a heavy duty needle. And then you could do the yarn on that. My glue kind of got, I left it open, you guys. Ooh, not a good idea. I am wondering though if like this professional adhesive book binding um, would work on material. I bet it would. But I'm going to go ahead and use my fabric fix glue since we have it out already. And I know it's going to stick and I'm going to have to squeeze really, really hard. <laughs> The joy of this stuff, though, is it really, really sticks. So I'm going to come down with this. Make sure my head's not getting in the video. Trim it. Pat it down. Also, um, I came in here after we did, after I did the first set of waiting for it to dry. And this stuff, my room smells like this, so you may want to do this in a well ventilated area. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, one time I did a canvas with uh, buttons. Oh, we could add a button to the. That's what I was thinking. Um, but I add a. I really want to get around these edges because I really want to make sure. And again, even after your pro, even after we do this, we can always go in there and add more glue. But I definitely want to go around the edges. And adding these blobs like I'm doing is probably really good for um, for spreading it out. You know, once I put my cover on. But I used that E6000 on this button project I did. 
needless to say, it was one in my old house when my art room was in the garage. And needless to say, I was pretty darn lightheaded afterwards. And I was like, okay, note to self, don't ever do that again. <laughs> okay, so make sure all the corners are adjusted. And then we're going to come in here and add some glue to the seam. Like so. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add it to this cover too as well. Get the, glue, get the ribbon out of the way. Oh, you know what we were going to add? I totally forgot. I was going to add like a ribbon. That's okay. We'll, we'll have a plan B to keep it shut if we need one. Should I add another ribbon along the, I mean some, oh, maybe some pom-poms. Let's do that. Since they're right up here saying, what about me? I got, you need pom-poms. And then I'll put glue, more glue on top of them. Those pom-poms are like all stuck together. <laughs> Now I'm just going to dot some glue around the edges here. When you first get fabric fix, it's like, comes out so much more easier. Okay, here we go, you guys. The test, the test. Is it going to be too long? It looks like it. Oops, what's this? Oh. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on here. I made it a little bit too big, but I was a little worried to make it too small. I have done that before. So I think what I'm going to do is just trim this off just a tad. I have I have done this before where I've thought it's oh it's perfect size and then by the time I start adding all the things on it it comes up short which you know we can add a ribbon we can add whatever it's so what I was thinking about doing still is coming in here and doing the same kind of thing that we did earlier with the stitching but actually use actually embroidery but I was thinking about using like going ahead and punching the holes with my needle so it makes it a lot easier when I go to to sew it like I would punch the holes and then I would sew all right you guys <laughs> it turned out so cute let's add our wand shall we and it dried oh and I did take it off and it dried actually really good it turned out perfect Doo -doo -doo. okay and then we're going to add our little wand to go. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. Where's our little flower? Okay. That's it. And if you wanted to get really creative, which I'm thinking this, I just have to find. It's kind of going along... You could use marker. Let's get some markers. Like I said, we could go all day. But maybe do some. 
and paint because it's canvas so you could definitely add paint on here you could add glitter like glitter glue which you know that's probably what I'm going to do too is sparkle this up a bit and then of course if I had a button we would be adding a button but I don't think I have any buttons up here you know what we or Oh yeah, but like I said, I'm trying to keep it where I'm not going to be able to like tear anything off. But this has got to go. It just it just brings all that yellow together, don't you guys think? So I'm going to put a generous amount of this glue on here because I do not want it popping off in my bag. And see, like this, and then as you go along, you're like, oh, let me add some glue here. So you can go along and just kind of, you know, fix as you go. If you see something coming up, if you do take it in your bag and you're like, oh, I don't want it to come up. Get the glue out. Let's squirt some glue on it. And voila, it's fixed. Okay. That, my friends. I'm loving it. That's it. Look how beautiful. Oops, sorry. I hope I didn't get my head in the way of anything. All right, you guys. This was so much fun. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.